Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. My name is Dion and today I'm going through my market view. So this is going to be something which I do every single day. I'm just going to go over the trades which I'm currently in, what I'm like looking for in, in regards to managing them. I'm going to go through the trades which I scout for every day and I'm just going to talk a little bit about them. So let's get uh, straight into it. We'll start off with the open trades. You can see here on my trading view, I have them colored in two different colors. I have a green and I have uh, this orange. So when I have green, it means I'm in the trade going long. If you see like a red tag, so like this, it means I'm in the trade going short. And if you see the orange, it just means I'm waiting on a setup. So this will become a little bit more clear as we go on. Now here we have GBP NZD. Now this trade I'm not feeling too confident in. Pretty much uh, the whole uh, the the whole reason why this trade started was because we saw uh, some touches to this significant area, which is acting as like a support. We're currently going up. We're in an uptrend. So I saw a little head and shoulders pattern here. We have the left shoulder. We have the head come up, right shoulder. So after that tick up. We saw the rally, we came back down because we didn't have enough strength to continue up. We saw another rejection in the form of a higher low from here. And then when price made a bullish movement, that's when I entered in long. So you can see it from the candlestick here. It might actually be in the 30 minutes. So yeah, just here. We saw price come down, it made another small head and shoulders pattern, rejected this trend line and this area of liquidity. Uh, it came up created this small high like the double top here and for me it was all about is it going to break through or is it going to reject it came down broke through and then I entered long now this trade was also based on like seasonal prime analysis so it was kind of taken as a signal now what I mean by that is because the short term and the long term predictions on seasonal prime told me to go long so that's exactly what I did but I just used my analysis to help me out with the entry and that's what we got currently I don't feel so good about this trade we see a little triangle pattern uh, forming at the moment which means there is still a uh, chance that we could see a rejection from here price could come down play around in this area and I don't really want price to play around where my entry is now for NZD CAD this trade is doing a bit better uh, we can see there's a formation of higher highs and higher lows. We are like in an uptrend from when? Like late June, mid June ish. So, this trading strategy I'm trying to do is more so intraday. It's not so much uh, holding it like as long as I would on my swing trades. So, this is more focused towards the short term. So, even if you see trades are overall long or overall short on the big, big uh, time frames doesn't mean I'm always going to follow that trend. I'm following the trend which is appropriate to the trading uh, strategy and trading plan which I'm actually trading. And at the moment, that seems to be going long, the short term uh, bias. So we're seeing higher highs, higher lows, as I have said many times already. And we've come down to a support which is the higher low. We're seeing strong rejections to that area. We saw a rally. We coming down, and it, it looks like price has formed another higher low. Um, so pretty much, I feel like from here, price is going to make its way up. This is a conservative target. Usually, if we are in an uptrend, we're going to break the higher highs with higher highs. So I would set my targets to like up here somewhere, but because seasonal prime is telling me, hey, this is a good area to exit, and this is where price will most likely get to. This is where I'm uh, going to do it. Like I said, I am following the seasonal prime. I'm, I am using seasonal prime as a big part of my trading plan and strategy right now. So, um, yeah, that's what it's current. That's what it currently is. It is being tweaked every day as I work on it. So currently, um, as you will see in these trades here that I have pending, these are more suited towards my actual strategy rather than just entering um, based on the short term, long term predictions on seasonal prime. Then we have USD CAD, uh, very similar thing. Uh, we've got like supports, we have higher highs, higher lows, uptrend in the short term. And currently we are at the higher low, which is in the form of a support. You can see by these wicks here, strong wicks. And yeah, I'm just waiting for price to crack through, come up. This does look like it's going to be a strong trade if we can hit the full uh, take profit, which is roughly 5%. Uh, so yeah, there's no issues with this trade currently waiting.
Now, these are the trades which I analyzed today and went through in the morning. So I do have all of them written out in my journal, but for now I'm just going to try and explain it um, since it's kind of fresh off the top of my head. So you don't need this anymore. Pretty much um, what I did was I used Seasonal Prime to, sco uh, to scout out and scope out for some good trades. And then I'm entering these trades based on how I like to trade. So here we're going overall short. We've seen some very strong bearish movements. This looks like it's the top or a reversal of some sort. So if we go into larger time frames, let's just have a look. Yeah, that's what it seems. Um, there's been like a triple top here at this area and now we're making our way down. Couldn't find strength and now we've started making uh, lower lows and lower highs on the larger time frame. So that's what gave me this, the short bias. Now from this top here, uh, strong bearish movement and we formed here what is currently a resistance. Saw so strong push down to form the next uh, lower low. We've come up and now we're uh, setting a la another lower high. What I'm thinking is that price is going to rally up to this area, um, collect liquidity and then drop down to here. So uh, the entry, no, the uh, take profit and the stop loss the, no, just the take profit is based on seasonal prime. The stop loss and the entry is based on my strategy. The reason why I've made it uh, up here and not just enter short because we can see it's going down is because we did see this strong uh, push up and then price came up, made another high. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any bearish um, like movement or price action at the moment. So I'm waiting for price to get to an area where it has liquidity to push back down since it couldn't already here. So that's why I set it up here. This is the next um, minor zone. So I do feel like we can see something like this, like anywhere from here, come down. That's the whole idea of the trade. So we don't have enough strength to push down where we currently are. So I do feel like we will come up to resistance, gather strength and come down. Now it does look like there is a head and shoulders pattern forming here. So left shoulder, head, and then now we're waiting for the right shoulder to be developed. Once the right shoulder does get formed, we just say it's here at the 0.728, then that's when we could see the push up here and crack back down. But at the moment, we don't know. Um, I will only enter the trade if it plays out the way I want it to play out. So right now we have our sell orders uh, set for this resistance. But price could easily, um, for example, come down here. We can see some strong rejection here, some consolidation, some bearish formation like in the form of like a lower high, lower low. And then we could see, see it drop. So this is why I'm going to analyze the market every day so I can go through the movements every single day and really see how it goes. Because it doesn't always go to plan, but it can go to a plan which uh, you make on the day based on uh, how price has previously moved. So... Um, yeah, that's my analysis on this trade, CAD CHF. Euro NZD, uh, very similar uh, setup pretty much, well overall short, so what I'm looking for, since price couldn't make that push all the way down, uh, we, we did see a lot of rejection around this area, so I'm just waiting on a pullback into this strong area of liquidity, which is obvious by the wicks in this area. I want price to come back up into this area, uh, where the red line is, that's like, if I see a strong rejection to this red line, then that's like my cue to get in. But yeah, I'm waiting for price to make its way up, hit this area of liquidity, come back down to the next major area, which is here, and that's that. Euro USD. This one is a different setup. So currently we're on a very strong downtrend at the moment. We've seen to form a support, which price is having struggles bouncing off of. So um, my whole thing is that price, it's still on its way to a significant level and I do believe price does uh, reach these levels before making any other moves, either to gather liquidity or whatever. But anyways, we've seen rejections to this area. We're still in a downtrend. You can see very uh, bearish movements. I do feel like price will try and make its way down to this significant area here, which I did not zone up. So I'll quickly zone that up here, something like that. So I do feel like overall price will come down to this area, but for, me, for like, if I'm thinking what's going to make me enter a trade uh, when price is making its way to this area, it needs to break the most recent support or like its key level, so which is here. 
So I'm looking for a break and retest on this trade. So that, um, well, yeah, I'm looking for a break and retest and then following uh, price all the way down to 1.17. Now we have Euro AUD. We have something very similar here. Um, well, actually, no, it's not similar at all. It's similar to the other trade. So uh, we have price pulling into 1.6, like roughly 1.6. And then from there, I want to take a short sell down to this area here. So I found this area here. Uh, you can see the wicks coming down. It sort of seemed to act as a support, but price couldn't uh, hold above this level. So we had like a break uh, down and a retest. So that's telling me this is a, a important area. Uh, this is probably where there is a lot of liquidity. So yeah, candlesticks and stuff like that. I'm waiting for price to come up, uh, tag this area out, show me a strong rejection, and then I want to take price short from there. Uh, let me see if I can give you a clear reason as to why I believe this. Um, okay, here. So price is overall on the downtrend, as you can see. Uh, this area, if we extend it, actually, we see it uh, sort of lines up with other areas, which was previously a support. So what this is, is it's pretty much a very long-term uh, break and retest of this level before continuing to the downside. So... Um, yeah, when you zoom out a lot, it doesn't really make sense because this isn't a trade that's based on like such a lot, massive time frame. This is more so an intraday or uh, close to a swing trade. But yeah, I am feeling like if price does reject this area, then we will uh, see a lower high. And then from there, I'll wait for some bearish market structure, then I'll take shorts from there. Now USD JPY, uh, this is probably something similar as well. I haven't drawn too much up on here, but I'm probably gonna set my targets to like, like roughly here, just off the bat. I want to see price come up, reject this area, and make its way down. Uh, it already has seemed to form like a double top ish here. We're going to the larger time frames, so yeah, it does already seem uh, like a bit of a double top. We've had very strong bearish pushes. Uh, we've had like a break of this level, we've come and tested it, couldn't break through it, um, couldn't break down through this one, so we're coming back up. It looks like price is ranging in between these levels. Um, a swing trade that I would like to take would be like a short from say like up here and hold it down all the way down to the next level, something like that. But with this new strategy, I am planning on trading like more short terms, so that's why I have it like this. I want to see price come back up into this congested area. On the smaller time frames, it looks a little bit more clear as to why. Um, so yeah, something like this. I want to see price come back up into this choppy area. Price does uh, tend to treat these like choppy areas as places where it can bounce and stuff. I can't explain exactly why. This is just what I found with my analysis and stuff. So I don't know the name of it, if there's any uh, pattern, which is like what this is called or anything. So I don't know. This is just how I trade. I'm going to wait for price to come up here and take shorts right back down. And now with AUDJPY, we can see it clearly drawn on, I uh, left my analysis on, um, or like the arrow thing, but very similar. We're looking for price to uh, make its way up from wherever it is now, come up to this area where it's like congested. I feel like this is a strong area of liquidity before pushing down to the downside to hit these lows. So that's pretty much my market analysis for today. Uh, sorry if it didn't make too much sense. I find it a little bit hard to describe exactly like my thoughts for each trade and my analysis, but I try my best to do it. Mostly like my strategy and my trading plan is up in my head and it makes more sense when I'm just sitting here um, planning my trades, doing all that and it's in my head. Um, I am trying to find a way to make it into like a written form so it makes much more sense when I'm explaining it to you guys so it's more clear and concise. Uh, but that's something that I'm working on so and I find that it's hard to clearly explain a trading plan which I'm currently working on. It's not done, it doesn't have anything set yet, things can change here and there but currently uh, this is where my mind is at. And yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's, um, I don't know what I want to call this, like uh, like market updates or something. I don't know, I'll find a name for it. But I'll see you in tomorrow's video. We're going to let these play out and see what happens. So I'll catch you in the next one.